everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key this is keys playing life so we are about to get into july's budget and i'm laughing because y'all know i done messed up somewhere it's just a matter of where but yes i messed up a little bit but i did i i did fix the problem i think i fixed the problem anyway okay <laughs> so before we get into all that, let's just do a July budget breakdown, what we can expect for the month of July. So if you see me looking over here, that's because I'm looking at my computer because I have every all my notes right there. But you'll be able to see it over here somewhere, probably. Yeah, probably over here. Okay, so July's budget. The to-do list is to put something on the vacation, which we'll talk about when we go through the numbers. Um, pay on after pay. And you probably like key. I thought you was done with after pay. I was. We're gonna talk about it. And then I'm doing a no buy for the month of July, like a serious no buy. So the goals is to save minimal eating out and low buys. But that low buy is actually a no buy because I'm not buying nothing in July. There is nothing I'm buying. So for the savings and sinking funds, the personal savings, which is the savings I'm using to save for my car. Is seven hundred and fifty dollars for the month, and then the emergency fund is a hundred dollars a month, and then the car fund, which is the car maintenance, that is a hundred dollars a month, which gives us a total of nine fifty. My goal is to save a thousand, but nine fifty is what the numbers are showing as of now. So, the budget for July is the total income is three thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars. The total bills and expenses were $2,729. The debt was $300. After we put up the money that we put up in each um, savings and uh, whatever, that is leaves us with $10. So the rent is $1,001. You know that never changes um, unless um, I, I think it may change once a year. So... Uh, it goes up once a year. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. This year it did go up. You guys know I was paying nine eighty eight. It went to one thousand and one, and that's pretty good. So, <laughs> just energy is two hundred and ninety three dollars. Um, which I'm really disappointed in because my light bill was super high, and I actually have my lights, my electricity, my AC set on a certain thing for like when we leave. When we come home, when we're in the house sleeping, I when we wake up, I have it set. So I don't know what that's about. So hopefully it'll get better. Um, Xfinity Mobile, $433. Um, that bill will be going down significantly just because my daughter uh, switched to her own company. I think she... Um, she got another phone. She got the phone that she wanted and she switched over to another company. So she's going to pay her phone off with me. But um, right now that bill is just $433. I am expecting it to drop down $130 next month. Uh, Xfinity Internet is $86. The center point bill is $56. Um, Canva is 14 car insurance is 194 that doesn't change unless it's at the end of the year and then it's time to renew everything so then it goes down a little bit um, capital one credit card $50 capital one silver credit card that's the first one is $50 the other capital one silver card $50 capital one Savoy is fifty dollars. I have two mission lane cards. One is twenty five dollars. The other one is twenty five dollars. A venture card is fifty dollars. You like key? Why you got all these cards? Okay, something came up, and I needed to run those cards. So when I ran them, I ran them, and now I'm paying them back, which I am almost done with one card, but I'm paying them back. Um. YouTube, $22. The vacation, we're only putting $79 on that just because I paid a little extra on it last month. Um, after pay is $30. Now, let's get into after pay. I had paid after pay off. I did. I had paid it off. But I did a Sam's order. And I didn't want to spend all my cash on that Sam's order. So I put it on after pay. And it's like, 
I owe like 60 bucks. So it's not even a lot of money that I owe on it. But this one I'm paying them 30. So, well, yeah, this one I'm paying them 30. Um, myself, I'm paying myself $200. That automatically goes into my own personal checking account. It's $100 each pay period. So that equals up to $200. Our Apple watches, which really ain't my Apple watch no more because my daughter got my Apple watch and my husband has his. And so that's $11 because I'm paying the insurance on it. Um, after these watches are paid for, I am going to drop the insurance on them probably. I might keep the insurance on my husband's if my, and if my daughter wants to keep insurance on hers, then she's going to have to pay her own insurance. Um, the life insurance. So I finally got us life insurance. Well, I actually got it last month, but um, I'm instead of paying it monthly because I think it was like I was paying like all together ninety bucks monthly, seventy bucks monthly. It was what it, it was something. I decided to just pay both policies policy six months ahead of time i think it was probably 50 bucks it probably was 50 bucks so i decided to pay it every six months and with me paying it every six months that totaled up to 296 dollars so i will be making the first payment this month and i will not have to worry about it for another six i won't have to worry about it until the first of the year actually so the fire stick is 14.98 um a few of these bills have already been paid like the fire stick bill has been paid one of the apple watches has been paid um half of the xfinity mobile bill has been paid rent has been paid uh one of the mission lane cars has been paid uh what else yeah that's pretty much it so this is what i did decide um, the car I want is $22,000. Now, could I save $22,000? Yes, I could, but it would take me a little bit longer to save $22,000. But my bank is going to finance me. So if I come up with $8,000, they'll finance the rest. And I, the Nissan Rogue, if I get like a 2022 or 2023, then the car is like 17 16,000. I come up with eight, they, they finance the rest, and my car note to be like 188. So I'm cool with that. So I have started, y'all, because I have been playing. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I have not been saving money the way I'm supposed to be saving money because even when I save it, I found myself still dipping in it because I was like, okay, it's not that serious. I'm not like, I don't have nothing to do. And in real life, I did have something to do. I had to buy a car. So I put my big girl pennies on and I have a specific account that now that car fund is going to that I don't even see. So I don't know what's in there. I try to keep track of it as much as I can. But for the most part, it's not for me to see. Um, I also have the emergency fund where I cannot see the emergency fund. So I like it better than that. Capital One, y'all should do like uh, a couple of these other banks and have certain accounts hidden. Like I like that feature where you can hide the account. So you're not, because I check my checking account every day to make sure that that whatever's pending has stopped pending, whatever needed to be pulled out has been pulled out. But when you have your other accounts listed right there, you can see them. And I don't think Capital One has, I've looked for it and I don't think Capital One has that feature where you can hide certain accounts from yourself. So you're not looking at those accounts. Y'all should really think about putting that as one of your features. I, but I love y'all because of y'all high yield rates. But I really think y'all should put that as a feature. So um, one of my accounts is... Uh, I, I can tell y'all who I bank with because y'all don't have my account numbers or nothing like that, so it don't matter. I bank with Frost, I bank with Capital One, and I bank with Shell. My Frost accounts, I cannot see. My Shell account, I cannot see unless I want to. And my Capital One account, I can see it, and that's what I don't like. So I'm going to try to figure it out. I don't want to move the money from there because, like I said, it's a high yield savings account. Frost is not a high yield saving account, but I'm using it strictly for my emergency fund. So I'm okay with it for right now. Um, also, I use their checking account for my personal spending. So that's what that account is for. 
my uh chase account is for um like events like we were saving up for a concert or we're saving up like my sister's coming to town we're saving up for that uh, so that is what that's for. Uh, I think the car maintenance uh, funds over there too. Um, my shells account, I pay nothing but bills out of that sh shells account. Strictly my bills. Now I do have a savings account with Shell, but that money that's that's in that savings account rolls over from the Shell's bills account. So once all the bills are paid, everything has been cleared. Whatever left, was whatever is left over, goes into that savings account. I know it might be complicated, but it works for me. Um, so I have decided to get serious about saving. Because, yeah, your girl was saving, but when things come, I'm the type of person, when I want something, I want it. I don't want to have to wait for it. I want to buy it right then. Hence, this massive walk in closet that I now have behind me. It's a whole room that is now a closet. So, <laughs> so when i want something i want it and now that i basically have everything that a girl could ever want in life like i have everything that a girl could want i don't need anything else i know y'all hear me say that all the time but i truly to god don't need anything else like i don't i'm not buying anything i swear i'm not buying anything now it's me focusing on getting my car and um this is a no buy month so i definitely won't be spending but next one i will be focusing on getting the downstairs bathroom finished although it has been i've put up the wallpaper and stuff that's done there's some decor that i want to incorporate in that bathroom but i can't do that until august if i don't wait till the first of the year to do that i'm really not in a rush to do it um because for the most part the wall aspect of how i wanted to look the aesthetic part of it is done it's just a little decor i want to put in there so i'm really not in a rush to do that right now um i'm really focused on getting my car we need a second vehicle and he picked the first car which was a Vos well we, we kind of picked it together it was a volkswagen atlas the second car i want it to be a nissan Ro rogue with the sunroof it has to have a sunroof. I'm not compromising on that. So I know what I have to do. So I am in saving mode. I will not be distracted. Y'all know y'all girl love eating out. I love eating out. I'm pausing it. Now for my sister, when she come down here, that's why we saving money for that. So that is a separate, a whole separate thing. I am going to eat out for four days straight. I'm going to eat out. But right now, right now, July the 1st, I'm working on my fitness. I'm working on saving. I will have my car. I plan on in March or April of 2025 to have my down payment for my car to walk onto a Nissan lot because I got to get my car either from two places. I'm not going to tell you what the other place is, but <laughs> I have to have my car from one or two places because. I love their warranties. Um, so I have to have uh, my ducks in a row and I have to get things started. Y'all, I am not perfect. I make mistakes financially. And I am learning that your girl is 43 years old. I only have, I want to say, because you, you know, you got to speak life over your life. I want to say I got 40 more good years. I'll be 80 something, but I got 40 more good years. Cause my, 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 my me, she lived till she was 102 and she was still wearing heels. She was still driving. She was still doing the damn thing. I feel like I got 40 more real, real good, good years. If I take care of myself, I eat right. I work out. I really take care of me. I feel like I got good for 40 more, eight. 40 more good years. So with that being said, I want to accomplish everything that I'm supposed to accomplish. Um, I took that first step about getting life insurance. Um, although I do have insurance at my job that I pay for monthly, I just wanted some insurance outside of that insurance. So I invested in that for us. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on i am going right now i'm currently looking 
for insurance for my children because I want to incorporate them in the insurance as well. So I'm looking for insurance for them as well. If I can find a, I think I can find it cheap though. I think with them because they're so young, I can find insurance for them for no problems. So I'm going to check um, out their insurance. I'm probably going to do that this month. That's going to be one of the goals that I'm going to do for this one. I'm going to check out insurance for all three of my children just to have a life insurance for them because i am a living witness when you just when you think things cannot happen they happen um today would have been my daughter destiny's 23rd birthday her and her sister got hit by a drunk driver i did not have insurance had i had insurance thank god i had a great church so my church paid for everything but if it wouldn't have been for my church, my kid, I wouldn't, I don't know how I would have buried my kids. We're going to talk about that in a whole nother video, but life insurance is very, very important. So definitely, um, think about it, check out different life insurance policies. And if you don't have your family in life insurance, I recommend you put your loved ones in life insurance. So, um, oh, the to-do list is right here. It has a change. I haven't bought anything else off this to-do list. I have not taken care of anything on this to-do list. I need to start buying stuff for our cruise that we have coming up. And I ain't done that. I'm probably not going to do that until January. To tell you the truth. I'm not really pressed to do it right now. I still got a, a while to do that. So it's no rush. But I know I need to get it done. But I have not done anything on this to-do list. So yeah. All right, <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Like I told you, I am not perfect. We are learning this together. We are doing this together. Um, y'all are watching me make mistakes in front of y'all and also trying to be a, hold myself accountable and do it not just to show you guys I could do it, but do it for myself. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to show us both that we can do this. We can say we can accomplish certain goals financially that we want to accomplish. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all, real quick, I got to show y'all my nails. My nails. Guys, I've been learning how to do these gel nails, and I've been succeeding. My nails nearly last a month when I put them on now, and I'm learning to do the decor. I don't know if that's going to focus. See, it's not focusing. I hate my camera. But I'm learning to do my nails and stuff now, and they are coming out great, and I'm really proud of that because I was spending $175 on my nails and my feet. Granted, it was once a month, but I was still spending $175. Now, it don't cost me nothing because I bought this kit, these little kits, um, a couple of months ago, and I've been doing my nails for like four months now by myself, and it ain't cost me no $175 every month. So I've been saving money. So I'm very proud of it. So. I am finna get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Like I said, we're learning together. I'm making mistakes, but I'm trying to correct them. And I'm learning new ways to save money and uh, readjusting budgets and just readjusting the way I save. So I am going to get out of here. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, have fun planning it out. I am Simply Key, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.